Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man, back with a controversial view of A Name for Evil. As you know by now, Controversial View is the series in which Jason from Horrific Nightmares and I cover controversial topics surrounding specific movies. Some are obviously more controversial than others. The controversies could be based on subject matter or behind-the-scenes events. Some of them are serious controversies and others are a bit more fun. We try to switch it up so we can discuss various types of controversies. The main controversy behind A Name for Evil is fairly simple, but we thought it would be worth mentioning. This movie is a bit of an obscurity, so we wanted to bring some attention to it. In fact, we considered highlighting it during the Seldom Seen series instead. And with an IMDb score of only 3.9 out of 10, we also seriously considered giving it a positive spin. But then we thought, Controversial View is a positive spin-off, so this would be the best series in which to discuss it. Plus, the negativity this movie receives directly relates to the controversy. A Name for Evil is a 1973 horror film, starring Robert Culp and Samantha Egger. Despite being released in 1973, the movie was actually filmed in 1970. It was originally intended to be a psychological thriller that would parody the then modern-day society. However, production ran over budget, so MGM decided to shelf the film. But then, three years later, Penthouse Magazine, yes, that Penthouse, acquired rights to the film through their movie division. They recut it and marketed A Name for Evil as a horror movie, with lots and lots of nudity, of course. Full frontal across the board. Now that's where a lot of negativity for this film comes in. No, not the nudity. The editing. But a little bit of information, such as what I just shared, goes a long way. I personally really like the vibe of this film. It has a surreal, dreamlike feel throughout. The additional edits made to it add to that. Also, based on reading a lot of reviews for the movie, it seems a lot of people were astonished to see full frontal nudity from Robert Culp himself. Like I said, there is plenty of full frontal nudity in A Name for Evil, both of the female and male kind. For those of you wondering, yes, Samantha Egger is naked in this as well. And she is beautiful. It's clear, based on the additional footage, that this movie has something to do with Penthouse. Knowing that fact makes it much more obvious why we see what we see in A Name for Evil. It truly does have an awesome atmosphere, though. Like I said, I love the 70s feel. This is a hippie horror movie. One last thing I do want to say is this. Something I've said in past videos and past live streams is what really bugs me about people's negativity and downright hatred toward movies is the fact that there are other people who may enjoy them for special reasons. A Name for Evil is a perfect example of that for me. When I was younger, I received this Paragon VHS, this exact tape, from my grandfather, who is no longer with us. He happened to see this tape at a flea market, and he knew I loved horror movies, so he bought it and brought it home to me. 
At the time, I was not familiar with the movie at all. That was my introduction to the film. Because of that, despite all of the negative reviews, A Name for Evil has always had a special place in my heart. It's even more meaningful now that my grandfather has passed away. My point is, as I've said before, it's okay if someone doesn't like a movie, but there's no need to be cruel about it. It almost becomes insulting to those who do like that film. You just don't know the significance a certain film might have for someone. I love this VHS, and I've always loved this cover art. You don't have to like A Name for Evil, and you don't have to watch it. Jason and I did, so you don't have to. This is just my controversial view. Please be sure to check out Jason's as well to hear his thoughts. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Which controversial movie will we view next? Check back soon to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>